And before I start, I just wanted to say why I choose this verse. It's the last verse from Vilapa Kusumanjali. And I got inspired by, uh, by Andaka. He was uh, uh, with me in the taxi on Thursday on the way to, um, to the airport in Delhi. And he talked to me about this verse. And he said to me, try to read it every day. And already in the airplane, in my first airplane to Switzerland, I read this verse. And so now I will try to read it every day. And uh, today I would love to share it with you and to hear from your heart, um, yeah, your sharings and inspirations. <laughs> So I will start, okay? Good day. <laughs> well, good. Rade. <laughs> so today we are reading Shri Shri Vila Pakusumanjali, verse 104. Oh, Pranaya Shalini, abode of pure love. Thus, I am loudly crying, desiring to attain your mature loving service. Holding your lotus feet to my heart, which is burning out of intense agony. I'm offering these lamentations to them as a bouquet of flowers. May they be the cause of even the slightest satisfaction to you. I will repeat the verse. O oh, Pranaya Shalini, abode of pure love. Thus, I am loudly crying, desiring to attain your mature loving service. Holding your lotus feet to my heart, which is burning out of intense agony. I'm offering these lamentations to them as a bouquet of flowers. May they be the cause of even the slightest satisfaction to you. So in this verse, um, I felt this word mature very interesting. So it means ripe. So when will I attain, when will I be ready, ripe, mature to serve you out of my deep love? And also then in the purpose, often this word will be mentioned. So we have to go to a process. At the beginning, we are young and unripe. And with time and by mercy, we get ripe and mature. To be able to do loving service. If somebody wants to share something before I go on with the purpose. When we are not ripe right, and when we like, it's 
something not right, then we have to wait to write. That goal has to be there. One mango tree, any fruit tree, one, one is a unripe food and one is a right fruit. You wait till it's not right, then you pick and bring down the back. And when you keep it like this, ripe fruit, and not used to eat, it will be bad. So meaning of this, and ripe fruit cannot eat. We have to do the sadhana till I am not right. And there is what sadhana? One is a Madhivakti, one is a Ragavakti. One sadhana of Madhivakti. Without relation, I am acting. And one is a Ragavakti. In relation, in love, we move in. Like a example, Jesus. Jesus was moving because he was the son of his father. If he is not a relation of fun, he accept, he will never move for fun. So I have to accept the mood. What I relate with, with the Savior, if I don't accept my mood, I cannot know his mood. I have to know my mood. If I don't know my mood, how I will know the mood of others? And how I will know the mood of Krishna to the same being? Impossible. Because we are impersonal. We have no relation with him. Just we know with the philosophy. Right? And we cannot try. Many flower in the manjaris come and they fall down. Many flowers before fruit, many flowers come and they without becoming fruit they fall down. Why? Because they have not tried. They have no capacity to wait for the right moment. Nobody go and touch them. But it automatically falls down because not they are ready for any sadhana or realization. And, and, and ripe food you not wait to eat. That is a very limited uh, time that you have to consume it. So we have to write, we have to write, we have to learn in the limited time to write. But you want to say? Go on. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Guru Dev. Radhe, Jai Radhe. Here is a, a question, just a small question for you, Gurudev. Is the ripening process, this can take many lifetimes. Is that right? I many. Think, hmm. I don't agree with this. Yeah, I hope. If this is not life, then next life nobody knows. <laughs> Sorry to say. No, oh, I'm very happy for your answer. I'm very happy. I, I become big. By as for my karma, then what will happen? I am so attached with my family, and I want to make more family bigger. Then is a big life is a bigger family life. So I have to become big to develop my family and live in the suffering with the stone with the pig baby. What is my karma? I take that body. 
is very clear in Bhagavad Gita. So who knows what I will become? If I become monkey, if I become dog, <coughs> dog nature, in one plate mother and the son cannot eat. They fight for oh, oh, they want to eat with separate. Owner knows they give separate plate to baby and mother. All is karma. I create my life for next world. If I want to go in that circle, then we have to wait for human body. So I was uh, before I was study, studying chemistry, actually agricultural chemistry. Then at that time I, la I learned how to write green fruits. You know that? If green fruits, say green mango, put green ripe mango. Hmm? If if mango is green or like apple is green, then how to ripe this mango? Then bring one ripe mango, and uh, inside green 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 mango, and then like a package plastic bag and keep it. But that means association. Yes. <laughs> you know, and then the green mango with association ripe mango become ripe. So similarly, I feel it. If we are green, you know, green like a, a sadaka, unripe sadaka. But if we get nice association with, with ripe sadaka, who is premika bhakta, Lashka Vaishnava, then by his association, we become ripe. Wow. That is science. Love it. You know, there's a famous moment in one conversation between uh, Prabhupada and his first disciples. And the disciple asks him, how long will it take me to, to find my liberation? And Prabhupada answers, one minute. As soon as you surrender, it's automatic. Sri Radha, this is the fact. Why? That is the Kripa will come. The moment mercy will come, what is mercy? When I understand the reality, hmm. that comes through mercy. We listen a hundred times when we surrender to accept it, that is mercy. Hmm. <coughs> Prabhupada writer, last chapter, <coughs> we are marginal. His spirit is very independent and very pure. But we cover with my ego, senses and body. So we are conditioned, and we are conditioned. So the spirit becomes conditioned. He wants something to do, but not to do. He don't want to do when he was the wound of the mother. He's crying that when I will come out, only I will remember and pray to you. Please bring me out. But the day we come out and we start drain eating, 
we forget this. Hmm. And by the mercy of right food, we can realize it. And then we are conditioned, marginal, and one thing, beautiful thing is a very independent. Who is very independent, he will never surrender. It's very difficult for the this spirit to surrender because he is independent like Krishna. He is the part and parcel of Krishna. So this is our abnormalities. These are not normal condition of me. <coughs> Without taking pleasure, giving potency, we cannot be normal. <laughs> you are teaching this. I remember this. <laughs> So explanations, notes. Humbly, Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami takes shelter of Swamini's lotus feet for the fulfillment of his desires. O oh, Swamini, what more can I say? I have no more words left over, nor do I have the power to utter any. You can give me your mercy, or not. I believe that you are the abode of pure love. Love for Shyama Sundara, love for your girlfriends, love for your maidservants. Being Prema Mai, you instantly take those who love you to you. Pre being Prema Mai, you instantly take those who love you to you. So it's not that I need you so much but you will also need me many times. This loving maidservants keeps the firm hope in the heart that Pranaya Shalini Swamini will once give her her mature loving service. So here we can also see that the maid servants who can give the loving service who has the love and Radhika is the goddess of love. She is the Prema Lakshmi. She is very wealthy of love. Her name is Prema Lakshmi. She can give love to us. We need only rather others. 
one drop of mercy of her love. That's it. Gurudev, Jayananda Maharaj say, we always say Sri Guru. What is the meaning of Sri Guru? Who is the Dasi of Sri? My Gurudev is the Dasi of Sri. Sri is the Radhika and the Guru is the Dasi of Mandiri of Radhika, Sri Guru. Who is not there born of life, the spiritual master. Who is Sri Guru? Prema Karapatan. Adhuta Jata Patas. Sri Guru Prema Karapatan. Why is the Prema Karapatan? Because he is a Dasi of Radhika. This is one pointedness. Read Bhagavad Gita 15, the energy of Krishna. Krishna cannot understand himself without energy. And what is the energy of Krishna is Radhika. And I say, I know Krishna. So we never sign Krishna. We not agree with Krishna. Mm. So we are trying to listen more and more to clean my doubts. Prabhupada said Krishna conscious. Who is Krishna conscious? My Sri is the Krishna conscious. My Swami is the Krishna conscious who try to forget Krishna, but he don't know how to forget us, him. <laughs> he don't want to forget. He <laughs> yes, that he don't want to see black. He ought to want to remove black things, but he cannot even forget Krishna. <laughs> he don't want to see any black thing. <laughs> He want to forget, then he asked his Sakis, can you help me to forget Krishna? I want to forget him. <laughs> and we want to remember him because we are not Radha To see Prabhupada, Life, he is also very fixed with Radhika. If you have doubt, say me. Many say he is a Sakha, friend of Krishna. Impossible. He is the upper Sampradaya. If you say this, means you want to show him very small that you don't follow him. Impossible. It's not out of dream to think on that. How can think like this? Mahajan, he's a Mahajan. <laughs> he opened the way to the all Western devotees. My cousin Baba is very rare to see him today. To see him. <laughs> <coughs> Baba. I am carrying your baggage, Baba. When you are not there, then I share something. When you are original is with me, why do I have to share something? <laughs> 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 
Guru Dev, we are we want to listen to you. But um, it, I thought it was very beautiful what Baba was saying that here we have another fantastic example of Unatochvala Rasa Svabhakti Shriyam because um, my Yoga Shakti very wonderfully read that um, not only do I need you, but Swamini also needs me. And this is a very, very important point because up to this moment, mm. up to the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this was never this was never possible to read that Swamini, who would need, why would she need anyone? So she would not need Vishaka, she would not need Lalita. But now Raghunath Asko Swami is opening the treasure house. He's saying she needs us also. So this is not a this is not arrogant and this is not pride, but without the manjaris, um, there cannot be the Nikunja Lila. So also here Baba is saying Swamini needs the manjaris. And this is a very beautiful example of uh, manjari bhav and this highest, highest gift Mahaprabhu has come to give. So we can see that actually we may be, at least I can speak for myself, a big, big fool, but in the eternal Lila, we are needed, and this is a, gives us very great hope. One day, also maybe become a Jew and and see this as a fact. So it's very wonderful to think that we are needed. So this was never before Mahaprabhu. This was never there that you can read that Swamini Radhika is need is in need of someone. This is beautiful. This is how I feel. Oh, all right. You see, Maha Mantra is also there. <laughs> Maha Mantra. You know, I explain Hare Krishna. Hare means Radha, and Hare means Skiri. Hare Krishna. <laughs> I see this past time in the front of Radha. I was chanting, and that time I'm chanting a little more, trying to do that in ICU in 80s, 75 80s. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Prince Radharani is impressed to Krishna, hiding. So Krishna is in. And Radhika is out. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, very powerful. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Then Krishna says, Who is doing this? What happened? And he says, Radhika, and he also embraced. What is this? Is Radha covered the Krishna? Is it Chaitanya? Varanga. And this together, Radha Krishna, is become Ram or Ram. Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. This attraction to the Manjari, who is chanting, then Ram, Ram, Hare Hare, calling to the Manjari, come, why are you sitting so far and chanting? Come in the Maharaj. Come with me and come and do my seva. This is also Manjari. Radha, Krishna, and Manjari. And 24 half also is half is Manjari. Without Manjari, never Radha, Krishna, Lila happen. Because one viewer is important. They are not doer. They are viewing the loving exchange of Radha Krishna. 
So my days in what? Is in Bhavullah's Prachit. Bhavullah's is in the feeling. So Bhavullah's is the prayer. Our life prayer is Bhavullah's. Living in the Bhava. Prati and Bhava. Yeah. I do technical things for you. You explain. Your English is more better than you. Thank you, Gurudev. So beautiful. I would like to add a little um, something. He has written this loving maidservants keeps the firm hope. So this means that we have to develop a constantly firm, strong hope. And before you said, Gurudev, that first uh, faith, we have to have a strong faith. Then hope is developing. And then love and prema, right? Firm faith, no. Uh, firm faith. <laughs> firm faith. Nista. <laughs> Nista is a firm. No doubtful anything there. Nista. Without Nista. Then we start loving to Guru. Before is a faith with Guru. When the Ishtanistha come in life, then we have a Guru Nistha. And when Guru Nistha come and Ishtanistha come, then Sarup Nistha is coming. Sarup Nistha. Sarup is also important because I cannot see with my material consciousness and body without my Sarup to Ishtadev. It is a long distance. So we now see Ishtadev and my Sarup. It's a mercy of Gurudev who, who navigate me to Ishtadev and to revoke my Sarup. And that Sarup needs bhava. We are not in loving relation. Where I will love? Krishna. No, Krishna. We have to Mahabhav, if you want to practice, you have to live in the Bhava feeling. If you want higher feeling, you have to come in lower feeling. Then higher feeling can happen. You can realize it. If I am not right with, I have to keep the, myself in the right spot where the other mangoes are right. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Who is in the bhava? We have to stay with bhava. To write myself. Probably. <laughs> 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 I have to to say. So Tarun Baba explained very nicely. And uh, because Radhika need us, and I was maybe wrong, but he mentioned Purana Sharini. Why Torasi say Purana Sharini? Here Purana say pure love, but uh, my understanding Pranaya means oneness with feeling. So. Puranaya means it is say, say like Radhika Mohan's case. Mohan touch Radhika, but Radhika feels my my hand is touching my body. If Radhika touching Mohan, Mohan feel oh my 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 hand touching me. 
that kind of oneness, here, Manjari and Radhika's oneness with feeling, because Manjari is shadow. So therefore, Manjari is saying, we are oneness with you. I need you. Same time you need me, because we are oneness. Without me, how can you meet Mohan? How can you intimate pastime in Yukunda? So I feel this is prana, pranaya sharini. And this is express kind of oneness of feeling of you know too much love, too much baba, too, uh, you know, too much loving feeling express in of like a trasimanja. So. Yeah, this is now Jananda Maharaj inspired me. Guru Dev said, Swami need Manjari because Radha and Mohan are doer. They need viewer. Manjari is a viewer. Then, what's the business of a viewer? When we are going to some chapel, what the viewer doing? Only live in feeling. That's why you are is just living feeling. This feeling is the most precious. Makes them happy, not more happy. So very beautiful. And I feel Guru Dev saying viewer. Doer means appreciate and feeling same feeling with doer. Also same time doing same feeling. So therefore, I want to help that feeling. Means I want to do some seva. That's also including this viewer consciousness. Not doer, but I want to help you with the same feeling or inspire feeling or verbal dance your feeling more what i want to increase looking i'm looking your body Pranesh Alani. <laughs> i i you are i i'm not hiding there mm. You do all the play, confidential play is a pranam. You're all confidential pastor, conjugal love. In my presence, I can view it. That is pranam. <laughs> This is one of my very nice Radhe Radhe. That this I thank you very much, Jainanda Maharaj and Gurudev. I have the same feeling about the first word Pranaya Shalini. It's so intimate. And we know in verse 102, then also he was saying, praying, I am yours. So it is all about I am yours. But now in this verse, the last verse, Baba is giving this, you are also mine. And many times, God, if you are giving us the feeling of the difference that between I am yours and you are mine. So that is a more confidential and more deeper relationship when the Manjaris feel that you are mine, that uh, once uh, Ras Alila was here with me <laughs> this summer, and she said, we were talking about uh, Radha Mohan, how to take service and how to do and how to. And I said, my God, you are traveling and you take your Radha Mohan with you. And um, that is amazing. And every day you are dressing them so nicely. And then she says, yeah, maybe they can leave me, but I will never leave them. So I felt, wow, this is 
the feeling of they are mine. Uh, they are Swamini, you are mine. You are. Just this is this feeling in this verse. I feel thank you. you So nice, Suniti. So Thank you. So lovely. For me, what um, viewer means? Viewer means the the I, the ego is erased. Mm. Mm. It means it's not I, my my big ego that loves you. It means I surrender to the flow of love which makes which makes the universe, which I surrender to the, the loving relation that you are, Radha and Mohan, and I am only a servant of it. There's no way of being responsible for it or or benefiting from it. <laughs> Viewer means I'm not the author of this beautiful, beautiful scene. I'm not the creator and I'm not the beneficiary. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just integrating into it. I'm just absorbed into it. And for this, I'm, I'm grateful. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, in the position of a viewer or observer, I'm ready, but at the same time, I'm ready to serve. So the mandaris are always in this position, ready to serve, ready to help. So... Yes, they cannot feign, they cannot be distracted, they are always one-pointed to serve Yuga Lakishur and Theradharani. Yeah. Baba, Baba is saying many, many times, as long as there is a whiff of ego, we cannot even talk about uh, viewing or, or seeing or having visions of the eternal Leela. So as long as we think that we are, we are, we are something doing something, um, it will never happen. And Baba is saying it can never happen mechanically. It is only creeper, which makes us, uh, I see as a witness, we can witness the Leela as much as our ego is going away. So that is the point. So when you are when you are witnessing the eternal lila, when you are witnessing the kuncha lila, there is no question of any more any ego. Your ahankara, your um, abhiman is merged with the with the with the with I am the I am a manjari. And as long as there can be vision, there can be some some dreams and visions and spurtis. But as as long as there is the ego still there. Um, we cannot talk about witnessing the actual Leela. So that far, we have to be very strict to, to be humble. Therefore, Mahaprabhu always is bringing up This is how, how this works. Otherwise, we will never be able to, 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 to view, like you said, Udava, nicely, to view this uh, beauty and, and the wonderful Leela. So Baba is saying, therefore, this word mature is so important. Like Rudolf is saying, we should try to associate with those who are mature, uh, like we are doing now, like I do now with you all and with Gurudev at the head of the assembly. So this is what uh, brings us. I was reading this morning the Bhagavatam, the story of Narada Muni, how he came into contact with Krishna consciousness. He's talking about and he's saying, that without, he was there in the monsoon season, he was uh, remembering a previous birth when he was a servant in the house and the uh, Vaishnavas came to his house and it's a very beautiful example that everything happens only by mercy. And when he was eating the remnants of the Vaishnava, Vaishnavas in that house, his bhakti, 
was really there. So he was making the point that everything that happens is mercy. Everything is Kripa. And as long as there is the ego there, we need even more Kripa. So we should always pray for this mercy that one day we can factually witness this beautiful Leelas. Wow. So Tarun Baba explained so nicely, and I just felt Gurudev used to say, I'm not Sadhana Sita, I'm Kripa Sita. And we also feel we cannot be Sadhana Sita. Sadhana Sita. No, then, I sit down, never I sit. I know, yeah. Say, oh, sorry. Uh, if possible. I'm not sit down first. <laughs> so, anyway, good day. So, so, if we, you know, if we think we can do by Sadhana, then some kind of ego may be demand. But uh, if we think, oh, we may be Sita by Kripa, or only Kripa, I may become Sita, then no ego. So Tarun Baba was saying very nicely because by Kuripa, Guru Kuripa, Sadhu Kuripa, Radha Mohan's Kuripa, we can be no ego and we can be viewer. So this is very beautifully explained, Tarun Baba. Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> Maybe I'm the loving maid servants keeps the firm hope in her heart that Pranaya Shalini Swamini will once give her her mature loving service. Mature loving service. Mature. We are unmature. We are not right. We can lie by the mercy of Guru. Sadhu and Lightness. Lightness. You see. Ha ah, Swamini, taking this bouquet of lamentations to my anxious heart, I offer them now to your lotus feet. Although this maidservant is unworthy. She cannot give up hoping. This is the point. The maid servant only live in the hope. Manjiris are living only in the hope. When I will write that somebody will call me and say, I must you. Then they will lose the hope. <coughs> that hope is Manjari. That living in the feelings is the Manjari. Mm -hmm. They are not lover. They are living in the feeling of Radhika. That's the only thing she did. She wants to be in feelings. If there is no feeling, she is a material. What is it? Anything you see in the table is without feeling, this pulse. It's material. This water. Is material. This box is material. Why there is no feeling? So I am practicing to feel, feeling less to become. This is material life.
and that is my material consciousness. And this is my self. What I do, I don't know what is the result of that. I have to go north, I start going south. I have to search. Feeling in the lotus feet of Swami, we start searching in the material. This is the I I create diversion. Nobody do it. Ashradi is a Krishna Paji, Krishna Hitaji, or some Maria Karan who took the center of his spiritual master and he followed the way of that truth. This man never lived to that. He always keeps protection. If not, then coming and going of his time is useless. He come for nothing and he will go for nothing. Although this maidservant is unworthy, she cannot give up hoping. I offer this prayer at your lotus feet. Wow. What is meaning? Only your lotus feet. Not in material lotus feet. <laughs> In your lotus, my Easter lotus, my Sunday lotus. I offer this prayer at your lotus feet. Let me be your maid servant, mature. In my love, desiring your mercy, I have offered this bouquet of lamentations, which contains a forest fire of this maidservant's endless anguish to your lotus feet. I have not had one flower of oh. oh, your roses. I make it okay. Many, many times I am trying but it's not become successful. I have a bouquet of the desire only in your lotus feet. This bouquet of my desire only to serve you is not one flower. Some I miss it. Imagine. I'm trying on and on. So it becomes okay. But I never stop it. I think that it's my mistake. I have my mind. Um, 
Desiring your mercy, I have offered this bouquet of lamentations, which contains a forest fire of this maid servant's endless anguish to your lotus feet. I have one great aspiration. I want to be your maidservant, mature in my love. I want to know your heart and lovingly serve you accordingly. Daddy. Yes, Doranga Sundara, I see you have a deep meditation on this. <laughs> but this is the point, right? What Gurudev always teaches. We want to serve Swamini according to her desires. And that is my maturity. Right now, I am caught, uh, serving my senses in my mind according to my own desires of what I think is very good. But then that time, hopefully, when that time will ever come, then I will serve Swamini according to her desires. And her desires are the desires to please Mohan. Yeah. So that is the perfection to serve Swamini according to her desires, how to serve her beloved and to be ready to be this container and to be ready to be this medium, to be that, you know, empty, emptiness of ego or emptiness of my own desires. And that is the goal, that is the maturity. That is devotion, right? That is devotion, not vegan. <laughs> 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 yes, I will make the milk rice full yeah. of love here. So we can do a service for the senses. And yeah, is that is, yes, yes, good. Yes. We're not ready to accept it. Long way to go. <laughs> But the, the miracle in what you say, um, so beautifully, Suniti, mm. is that um, your desires actually are Swamini's, Swamini's desires. It's only that we haven't realized this yet, none of us. Yeah. So our, prior, our spiritual path is one of coming to understand the way in which Swamini is in us and we are already servants of Swamini but in some way blocked by our material consciousness. So it's perfectly, it's so nice the way you put that, uh, Suniti. But we can have hope that uh, we can have great hope, great faith that uh, the path will lead us to the goal because in a way it's already programmed in our hearts. Swamini is already there. We just need to uncover it, unblock it, so we can find the way. Well, when I, I know my blockage. I can see my blockage, then I can remove it. But sometimes we don't see the blockage. We see this is my goal. <laughs> this is the point. When I see my blockage, then I will try to remove it. And we have to remove it. Mm. No way that I can survive in my blockage. Thank <laughs> you.
I want to know your heart and lovingly serve you accordingly. Not any ordinary maidservant, but one who can enter into the solitary kunja unhindered to perform the most intimate services. So this is the beauty that the maidservants who are so close and dear to Swamini, that they are the only one who can enter and serve Radha and Mohan in the intimate loving exchanges. Right, Gurudev? Solitary Kunja. Very solitary. Yes. Nobody knows that. She knows how much he knows. That would be but in beginning, Manjari also don't know which place he is bringing. Yeah. Very beautiful. Not any ordinary maidservant, but one who can enter into the solitary kunja unhindered to perform the most intimate services. Yeah. <laughs> At that time, you and Mohan will consider me to be the embodiment of your loving ecstasy. Wow. That is, yeah, this is called Avesh Murti. And I remember that very well because in uh, one of the purports of uh, Srila Naratam Das Thakur's prayers in uh, Prema Bhakti Chandrika, it is also so nicely explained by Baba how Radha and Mohan consider their maidservant as non-different from them. Because in that moment when they can serve, like Baba is explaining here, unhindered and completely in pranai, completely in this emotional, loving oneness, in these feelings that are not self-centered, but completely centered on their service, on their on Swamini's heart. Then they become, they also are part of this pranai, and they become avish murtis. Like we say sometimes, Swarup Avesh. Avesh means this absorption in the being the Dasi. And this Avesh Murtis of the feelings of Radha and Mohan, these embodiments of Pranai, or like Swamini is the abode of Pranai, Pranaya Shalini. And these maidservants who have become like these particles of love, of Swamini's service, they don't even notice them anymore. They are just so much in oneness that any service that they do is like, uh, how do you say that? It's non-different from the feelings of Swamini that she wants to serve and please Mohan. Jai Hoshan, it is so nice, so nice. Beautiful. Yeah. 
దేశనార్థం ప్రార్థన మసి మసి అపనార్థం దాస్తాను సో బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ At that time you and Mohan will consider me to be the embodiment of your loving ecstasy Oh pranaya shalini your heart melts of endless compassion Please fulfill my desires It is as if Swamini then reveals herself and tells Tulasi Tulasi what you desire is very difficult to attain Tulasi replies Ah Swamini If I am not qualified for your service then leave it Don't give it You may keep me in the ocean of sorrow or in any other condition but I will just offer this bouquet of lamentations to your lotus feet weeping and weeping no that was this is my dream no the other is i will make bouquet of my lamentation but i will not do that at this You may keep me in the ocean of sorrow or in any other condition but i will just offer this bouquet of lamentations to your lotus feet weeping and weeping please let me know if this has given you even the slightest happiness or satisfaction In this way Tulasi served Swamini by lovingly stringing these flower-like lamentations into a garland <coughs> with Somebody wants to share? <laughs> with, with their mind's eyes, the practicing Raganuga devotees should see the pictures of deep devotional love that were drawn in it by this maid servant. this maid servant that is suffering the pangs of separation from swamini day and night these emotions will arise also in the heart of a fortunate devotee who remembers these pangs of separation
Another Rade. This is just reminding me Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What he's saying is actually that we can offer ourselves Atma Nivedanam. So our Atma we give. So this is a, me, this prayer. I'm offering you the bouquet of my feelings. The bouquet means all my flowers, all my thoughts, all my aspirations. I offer to you now, finally, to your lotus feet. There's nothing more to say, nothing more to give. That's it. Now I can just wait that the stream of your mercy, Pranaya Shalini, Prana, what is our Prana as Mandris? The Mahabhav of Swamini. What else? What could be our prana as manjari, as kinkari? So your prana is like ya, like the yamuna, like a stream. It's prana ya, it's flowing. It's both sides, it's constant. I just want to get this and live in that. That's it. And in this way, I can go anytime in the most intimate services. Because then, because of your mercy, which is streaming to me, I know perfectly what to do. I know perfectly how to serve. Because I'm completely dependent, I'm completely one with your love. And you are the source, the abode of that love, of that Brahma. Pranaya Shalini. So I want to be one of your streams. I want to connect exactly with that stream. And I have nothing more to say and nothing more to give from that platform I'm speaking from. You may accept or not, it's your body, but I'm your eternal servant. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, you may accept me or not, you may ignore me, but I stay always yours. So for me, this is very similar, this prayer. And that must be Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy coming through Srila Raghunathas Swami. Yeah. Mundava. Mundava. Yes. And that's your mercy, Guru. Oh, good. Thank These emotions will arise also in the heart of a fortunate devotee who remembers these pangs of separation. This ocean of suffering in separation is so vast and so deep that ordinary persons cannot possibly enter into it. Anyone who surrenders to Tulasi Manjari's lotus feet and has seen 
even one tiny wave of this turbulent ocean of love and separation with his mind's eyes can understand that this cannot occur in ordinary people. His mind's eyes will slowly but surely perceive the picture of Sri Gora Sundara absorbed in Sri Radha's ecstasy of love and separation in the Gambira cell at Nilachala Puri. The following heart-rending, pitiful tune of lamentation, of separation, will resound from the twanging vena of his heart. Where shall I go? What shall I do to get Brajendra Nandana? Where is the flute playing lord of my life? Whom shall I tell? Who will know of my distress? Without Vrajendra Nandana, my heart breaks. Usually, a benediction, Fala Shruti, is granted at the end of a prayer. But here, there is no need for such a benediction. The prayer is its own benediction. Sri Raghunatha's voice chokes as he speaks and he faints. Is this fire of separation extinguished by weeping? Raghunatha did attain the service of Srimati Radhika as a result of serving Sri Radhakunda. The reddish sunrise of aspiration begins to glow on the eastern horizon of the sky of his fortune. Remove, removing the dense darkness of the new moon, removing the dense darkness of the new moon night of his love and separation. Suddenly, all the ten directions are gladdened by Sri Sri Radha Madhava's sweet bodily fragrance. Swamini has come, taking her Pranavalaba with her. Srila Dasa Goswami smells the sweet bodily fragrance and beholds their sweet golden and bluish forms that illuminate the bank of Sri Radhakunda. <laughs> Thank you.
The Divine Jewels of Sri Raghunathas Fortune. Sri Sri Radha Shyam are standing before him. How many streams of merciful tears trickle from their beautiful eyes. How sweet are their voices. By smelling their honey sweet fragrance, Sri Raghunatha comes back to life. Swamini says, Tulasi, look, I have come. Tulasi's heart's desires have been fulfilled. Swamini stands before her with her pranata. Prananata. Swamini stands before her with her pranata. Mercifully, mercifully, she takes Tulasi by the hand and embraces her, thus accepting her as her maidservant. This is the end of her lamentation. Ragunata had his desires fulfilled. His vine-like body that was burning in the great fire of separation is now showered by the stream of the divine couple's eternal blissful meeting in the Kunja abode. Gora Lila is also eternal and Sri Raghunatha Dasa is Mahaprabhu's eternal associate. Fortunate souls can hear Srila Raghunatha Dasa weeping even now in the form of a practicing devotee. Here he eternally relishes the sweetness of separation from Swamini, lamenting and lamenting. At night, when all is silent, Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami's pitiful lamentations of separation that defeat the anxious lamentations of the osprey in sweetness can still be heard on the bank of Sri Radhakunda. Srila <laughs> Rasika Chandra Dasa Ji sings O Rade Ai abode of love O merciful one Day and night I am burning in the fire of misery. When, 
Will you give me your service? which is nourished by pure love and eternally fresh eagerness, calling me your Dasi. I make a bouquet of my heart's utterings and offer them at your lotus feet. If you are even once slightly satisfied with them, then my life will be a success. Thus ends Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami's Shri Shri Vilapa Kusumanjali. Jai Ho! Jai Ho! I think that Raguna does makes it very clear again in this last verse, like in the beginning. Without the mercy, you cannot be in that position. Without mercy, we are nothing. From the beginning till the end. And only the full mercy stream of Radharani's Mahabhav will bring us in that mature position. Because Raguna Das is speaking here, I want to be mature in my service. That means your stream has to be there installed. Your mercy has to flow the whole time. Not like now, sometimes I'm in and sometimes I'm praying for it. No, it has to be uninterrupted now. So now I'm begging for the full uninterrupted mercy stream. And that's my final prayer. So hopefully, with the mercy of all you, every one of us will come to that situation one day. We can pray like that fully and give one the real self to the Seva, the real self. This is one. Just some thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
with us and all devotees thank you so much it was a wonderful sharing thank you and gurudev is always giving and sharing and uh, distributing so much mercy with all the food he's giving to us, always feeding us. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Happy Diwali, have a beautiful arti. <laughs> Thank you. This week is kind of between Many are coming. Now is the first and big Radhe Radhe. Where you are hiding, Gauranga Sundaram? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. I'm in a train. <laughs> <laughs> and Gora Sundar is on the train. Gora He's the also night. relishing. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Where are you are training? Come to Germany? Are you coming by train from there? Yes, to uh, airport. Airport? To uh, to work and serve. Goloka Dhan. Now you are near to Suniti. My God, Suniti is very coming near. closer. Coming closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suniti is giving so nicely. Wow, is it great? Yeah. Narottam Pratnas, uh, remember? I don't. Yeah, my God. She gives the example so sweet. My God. So, what is the topic? Hundred four. Hundred four. Hundred four topic. 
Last of Us o pinapagsumante? Oh. Okay, after flowers. Wow, this is a meditation. You are alone in full body. Train. You are only one. <laughs> only one. <laughs> Are you? Uh, no one is there. You reserve the train. Very. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs>